What's up guys, Joseph Rakic from josephrakicfitness.com Today, the question of the day, it comes from Sabah Merchant Sabah Merchant asks, how many cheat meals can I have? <laughs> Good question, but that really depends on what you define as a cheat meal For example, is your cheat meal a burger? Or is your cheat meal two burgers, two large fries, a large coke? ice cream Sunday after that, and then a box of donuts on the way home. <laughs> so it really depends on what you call a cheat meal. Um, it can vary a lot and the calorie intake can vary a lot. Now, yes, cheat meals do have a small benefit and because you are consuming a surplus of calories, it is good for your metabolism, good for some of your fat burning hormones, your leptin, your T3, and it is good for TEF, which is thermic effect of food, basically your body burning through more calories. However, there is a line, and as soon as you tip over that line, there is a negative effect of that cheat meal. Now, I don't really advise cheat meals. I'm more of a guy that advises refeed days, which is basically a controlled calorie intake over the day instead of a given meal. Um, for more info on a refeed day, just check out some of my other videos. I've done plenty of um, Q&As on refeeds. But regarding a cheat meal, what you need to understand and what you need to realize is it can have a negative effect on your fat loss goals. For example, if you are cutting in a calorie deficit, obviously, um, and you're in a 500 calorie deficit every single day, that is 3,500 calories deficit every single week. Now, if you had two cheat meals every week and both of those cheat meals were 2,000 calories, which is like two burgers and two fries, then those two cheat meals is throwing you out of a weekly deficit. Therefore, you are not in a weekly deficit, therefore you will not be losing body fat, resulting in wasting your time that whole week. So yes, they can be very detrimental, but like I said before, it really depends on what you call your cheat meal. My advice is keep it in moderation, don't binge, and try to limit it as um, infrequent as you can. For example, every two weeks would be a good starting point, every week at the most frequent. Do that, stay consistent, if your weight is not going down, your cheat meals are just too excessive. Anyway, hope that um, made a little bit of sense, Sabah. Thank you for asking this question, I appreciate all these questions that come through, I try to answer as many of you as I can. Hope this helped a lot of other people watching this video and gave you guys more understanding on cheat meals and how they can um, definitely put a negative effect on your overall cutting diet. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you do need help losing body fat, you can download my free fat burning ebook. Links in the description box down below. I include my top five fat burning secrets. Download that, click the link, 100% free. It takes about four seconds to fill out. All you need is a name and email. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh, <laughs>